Protective Services knew Loretta Greer's children. Our officers made a referral to Child Protective Services in early January. Tonight, some wonder if the agency could have done something to prevent the deaths of the two kids found in this sewer. I do believe that we're going to have to look at, at this case. State Senator Matt Salmon co-chairs a committee which can investigate Child Protective Services cases. He told News 15 he's going to demand a probe into the deaths. If they didn't intercede uh, and it was warranted, why not? There's no question CPS was involved with Loretta Greer and her children. She has a history of drugs, prostitution and theft. A probation officer visited with the troubled woman at least once a week to monitor her mental problems and drug rehabilitation. One of my field officers observed some fairly significant bruising on one of her children. Loretta had a difficult time explaining exactly what happened. So probation referred the family to CPS in January. Child Protective Services can't say they even had the case because of state privacy laws. Why is there a right to privacy for two children that are down in the sewer? Ted Weisenberger is on a citizen panel which reviewed hundreds of CPS cases gone wrong, even wrote about it in Sunday's paper. He thinks CPS could have prevented the kid's death. My first, my first thought was, even before CPS was mentioned, was it out that, that they were supposed to have been protecting these children? We'll have to probably go into a, a closed executive session to review and try to ferret out the, the, uh, the facts.